Hey y'all, this is CJ. This is the first time I am going to be going live as the news director for Liberty Bugle. If you haven't looked up Liberty Bugle yet, it's a new news site and they asked me to be their news director, basically putting out their articles and spreading the word since, you know, big tech and the censorship on these platforms have gotten crazy. It is up to us, the digital soldiers, to get the news out. And I was really good about it before. Um, I did get a little bit down after the whole January 6th fiasco and President Trump being displatformed. And now I realize that it is up to us to be the words and mouth for truth. We are truth warriors. So um, yesterday I woke up going, is this America? The gas shortages, people in line trying to get gas with the rockets going over into Tel Aviv. I have no idea what is going on anymore. Um, so much news, so many things. So I'm just gonna pick a couple articles probably every day and talk about them um, just as I used to, but now I'm going to be showing you Liberty Bugle articles. I don't know if you watched on Fox News last night. This one as a mother is absolutely incredible to me that the liberals literally have their heads in the sand when it comes to the border crisis. Listen, we were so loud during the Trump administration that we had to control our border because we did not like the fact that children were being exploited. They were being trafficked. They are being sold into literal slavery. And all we heard were the liberals crying and saying, but the kids in cages, but the kids in cages. Oh, listen, they were being separated so we could protect them. And in effect, because of Trump's tough border, policies, the border crossings went down, and for the first time in years and decades, America was secure, and now, because of, um, and I really have to be careful about this, because I've been fact-checked before, because none of this, of course, is Biden's fault, but because of, you know, free everything, come to America, we will give you everything, um, amnesty, medical for, you know, not illegals, but you undocumented peoples, uh, we have a problem again, you know, caravans coming to the United States and kids in record numbers. So last night on Fox News, um, Greg Gutfeld and Jesse Waters got into it with Juan Williams. Here's the deal. I want to say they have their heads in the sand. I just left the beach with my kids and my sister yelled at my my little cousin because she literally had her head in the sand. She goes, Joey Bell, get your head out of the sand. She literally had her head in the sand. But these people, they also got their head in the sand. Either that or by, this is by design. We have Kamala Harris who hasn't even spoken about the border, which is probably one of the biggest crises that the Biden administration is facing, and they don't even want to acknowledge it. We have Kamala Harris who hasn't said a word, and she's the one that's supposed to be in charge here. So my theory is this is all by design. They want to overcrowd our system. They want these people to flood, and they want new voters for themselves because Mm, you know, they are, to me, the only white supremacists in America because they are using these people of color, if you will, uh, for their power. But, you know, it's all about, race, you know, divide by race. So right now, one, here's the example of digging your, he your head in the sand. One says the numbers are going down. I'm going to look here. You're going to look here. One says this is normal. No, it's not, Juan. It's not normal to parade a parade of 50 million people from Venezuela coming over here. Nope, not normal. Nothing normal about it. Um, they got in this fight, and Juan said the numbers are going down. We have 21,000 unaccompanied minors coming across the border and now in federal custody at 200 different facilities across the United States, and nobody is talking. a lot of y'all, I lost a lot of friendships over this because my people, my old people that claimed me as a friend thought I was a racist because I wanted a wall. I wanted to protect these kids from the situation they are in now. Stranded, nobody's helping them. Nobody's helping them. Unlike the Trump administration, they're just not a peep, not a peep from the media. They want you to believe the numbers are going down just like Juan Williams on Fox News, which 
some people might say is the more fair and balanced one, was saying, but no, 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 21,000 unaccompanied minors. So the friends I lost and probably the friends you lost, so conveniently when they wanted the decent president that didn't have the mean tweets were running up with toiletries to these sinners bringing bringing carloads of blankets and toothpaste and diapers during the Trump administration. Why? Because they were virtue signaling just like they do with the stupid mess. But guess what? They're not doing it now. But guess what? We are more overloaded than ever. So God bless the people on the border or not just at these facilities and the charities that are actually trying to help these children because now they don't have all the liberal virtue signalers running to them with free supplies. Blows my mind. You know what? And for the women in the preschool pickup line that judged me, judged me for wanting to protect America and judged you from all of this stuff, where are you? Where are you? On to other news. You can get that at Liberty Bugle. The, the article says it a whole bunch more eloquently than me, but I am just a mad mother. I let my kids, what are they right here? I don't even know. I let them draw all over. That's what you're looking at right now. Another thing, since I just mentioned masks. Um, hello, another thing I think is by design, which, you know, who knows? But now we know that Dr. Fauci donated to the Wuhan lab. You know what, I remember when everybody made fun of Senator Tom, Tom Cotton when he brought this up on national television. He was made a joke. They called him a conspiracy theorist. Well, isn't it funny that once you start investigating, which the left doesn't like to do when it has anything to do that might implicate them, we find out, are we really conspiracy theorists? I don't really think we are. Anyhow, uh, you got 105 million people worldwide that have been infected with coronavirus. You got 2.2 million people that died. And now we know that the, these doctors in this lab, they, Dr. Xi, the Institute of Virology, conducting a gain of function research on bat coronaviruses. Oh, 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 oh. And Dr. Fauci was donating over here. He had money flowing. And let's see. Who is just, you know, the, 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 I'm losing my train of thought. We should edit this. Um, the flip flopper in chief in America. We want one mask. We got two masks. Now you got to wear three masks. No, you don't need a mask at all. Soon it'll be safe not to wear masks indoors. Oh, wait a second. We got to wear masks outdoors. Dr. Fauci, who just keeps playing the American people might have been in on this the whole time, but are we ever going to get an investigation? We dang sure should, but I don't know if we will because like I said, this entire thing, I don't know. I'm going to say it did benefit the Democrats, right? That's, we got a Joe Biden president and I would say it all comes back to this point. So who knows if they'll investigate it because maybe it was planned. I didn't say that though, Facebook. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Um, yeah. So bat soup my butt is the takeaway from this article. You can also get it on Liberty Bugle. Go read it. If you didn't know about this, please send it to your liberal friends that are still uh, worshiping Dr. Fauci like he is some, you know, trust the science God because I think he created the science for this virus to spread. If you lost a loved one, these people should be in jail, guys. Anyways, that is all my coverage today for Liberty Bugle. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, check out this website. I love it. They also have, it's not just, you're not going to just get hard news. There's pop culture, there's sports, everything. Um, and the last thing I'm going to leave you with, which um, I don't know if you know this, but there's a lot of different uh, media organizations that are putting out instructions now how to safely snuggle or hug your friends. Come on, please. We've been hugging our friends maskless for the past year. You're going to be fine. Bye, everybody. See you later.